Pilot. Drain Man here, and today I just want to take a few minutes and show you guys how to set up your all new, brand new DJI 04 air unit. If you're an experienced pilot and you know what you're doing, then you don't need to watch this. But if you're new to FPV, or maybe you're just new to DJI or new to the 04 and you don't know how to set up, I just want to take a few minutes and show you really quick. So let's dive in. Once you open the box, and you get your air unit out. You can admire its beauty. And one of the really cool changes that they've made from the 03 and the original is we've all broken off the connector before. You'll see right here we've got laid out solder pads. So if you're ever in the unfortunate situation where you rip off your connector, you can literally just cut this off and then hard solder the wires to the air unit and then you're still good to go. So you'll just take the cable that it came with just like this and it doesn't matter which side you use, they're both the same. You'll go ahead and plug that in. Now, once that's plugged in, you need to go ahead and get it set inside of your quadcopter. I've got a Mario right here with a Speedy B stack. It's pretty customary these days for most flight controllers to come with a plug. So if I flip this over and I find it, you'll see that it's right here and it says battery ground. T3, R3, G, and S bus. And that is my DJI connection. And it will work with all previous models, including the new one. And it's literally as simple as plug and play. Look at that. So if you're unsure, just find that connection, plug it in, and you're pretty good to go. If for any reason your stack or flight controller doesn't have a connector where you just bloop, plug it in and you're good to go, you'll need to solder it up. So what you'll do is you'll take this connector right here and you'll actually cut off these wires. Just use your wire snips. It's as simple as your power, ground, RXTX, ground, and S bus. So one of the questions you need to ask yourself is, are you going to run the DJI radio? If you're going to run the DJI radio, it has to be the new DJI Controller 3 or the previous model, the DJI Controller 2. Those are the only two remotes by DJI that are going to work with the DJI 04. What you're gonna do is depin both sides. So you'll hold it up. And it's as simple as taking your uh, little cutter or putty knife or tweezers, something small and sharp, and you'll get down in there and you'll lift up on that tab and then you'll just simply grab that wire and you will pull it out just like that. And as you can see, I depin that. You see I pulled that out? And then you'll do that on the other side as well. You'll remove the brown and the yellow wire from this connector on both ends, okay? Because you won't need those two wires because you're not running the DJI radio. If you are running the DJI radio, be sure to keep those two wires. So what you'll see and what I found on this stack right here is I found a nine volt, that'll be my power. So I'll take this red wire right here and per the, per the manual, that's this red wire right here, red VCC, and that is right here, this red wire right here. And you're just gonna move in order, red, ground, and then you got white, but it's literally nine volt ground, then you're going to need a full UART. That means a T1 and an R1, or a T2 and an R2, or a T6 and an R6. You'll need to find an open UART, and that's what you'll connect to. So I'm gonna show you right here, minus T1 and R1. So I'm going to go red, and then I'm gonna take the black, and I'm gonna put the black on ground. And then after I get done with that black, my next wire in play is white, and as you'll see, white is RX. So that means it needs to go to TX. Don't let that confuse you. You've got to take those two wires and cross them. If it is a TX, it goes to an RX. And if it is an RX, it goes to a TX. So this white wire being an RX, it is going to come right here to this T1. And I'm going to solder it here. Then I'm going to move to the next wire, which is this gray wire. That is my... T1, 
TX wire. So I am gonna put that to my RX. So that's this R1 right here. And then my next wire is brown, which is ground. So I need to find another ground and I have a G right here that is ground. I'll solder that brown wire right here to this ground. And then my final wire is yellow, that is S bus. S bus will come to this pad right here labeled S bus. And then I am soldered up. But hopefully you don't have to do that. Hopefully you'll have a plug just like both of these stacks here. If you have new goggles and you have not activated your goggles, these do not get done on the computer. You'll need to download the DJI uh, go for fly app or whatever it is. Uh, you should have a QR code when you bought these. You'll need to put that on your phone and then you can uh, use a USB type C from phone to goggle and you can activate and update the firmware on your goggles. It is very important that you've done that because the goggles, at least mine, did not come with the option for O4 already on it. I had to do the update and then the DJI 04 became a possibility. So, diving into the goggles, I need to go to my status, and I'm gonna make sure that I am in the DJI 04 air unit, which I am. So now, all I have to do is power up my air unit, which I'm gonna do with power to the quad. You'll see that I have power. It says right here, bind with a little button. So I'm going to grab something small like this. I will press that button. Okay, that wasn't small enough. I need something smaller. I don't want to stab it and break it, so I need to be careful. Okay, button is pressed and I am now flashing. Now I'm gonna hold the power button. <laughs> two, three beeps, two, three beeps, and you'll notice I've got the green light right there. Let me dive in. Okay, so we're going to need to download the DJI Consumer app. DJI Consumer Drone Assistant. And here it is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it with you really quickly, but I am also going to put a link down in the video description so that you don't have to search for it if you're unsure of which one to get. I know which one to click, so I went ahead and just clicked it and did it so I can show you which one to get. But there it is, it is already done. There's zero seconds left. I am going to open that up. And there it is. Now we need to run it. I want English, I accept the agreement, you can leave it there, or you can put it where you want it. I'll take a desktop shortcut, why not, and then install. Now that it's finished, I'll click finish, but you do need to power the DJI 04 air unit in order to start activation. So make sure that you have added power and you see this actual activate tab right here. I click start activate, allow access, confirm my account. It's activating, activation successful, complete. I am not on the latest firmware, so I need to go ahead and upgrade, start update. And now we are going to update our firmware. So the first thing you'll do is you'll plug in your LiPo and power up your air unit and it will power through the quadcopter. Then you'll plug in your type C and that will connect you to the consumer Two app, the DJI assistant app. And that is when it'll recognize that it's a new air unit that needs activation. Once that happens, then you can move through the process of updating firmware. Once you are done, it'll show that the update has been complete like so. We'll press back. And as you can see, it's telling me that my current firmware is also the official firmware and it no longer says update, it now says refresh. And then I'm gonna power cycle by plugging it back in. And then I should have video in my goggles. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at that. 
Wow. So the next step is going to be to go ahead and jump into Betaflight and set everything up. So we're going to quit this program. We're going to open up Betaflight. Now, once Betaflight's open, this is our last and final step. You will use a USB Type-C again. You need to know which UART that you went into, just like we talked about, T1R1, T6R6, whatever you went into. So I was connected to T1 and R1, which is what's also broken out on these pads right here, the, the solderable ones that we talked about soldering to, was T1 and R1. So now that I know which UART I'm on, I will jump into the Ports tab, and then I'll head over here to my UART, and I want to go to my Configuration, MSP and you need to find that UART. I was connected to T1 and R1. So I'm going to check this box right here for UART1 and that is what's going to give my video communication to my goggles. And what that's going to send is any OSD. It's going to send the voltage from my quadcopter so that way I know when my battery is dying. Anything like that, it's going to communicate to the goggles. The second box that you need to check is your serial RX. So if you used the DJI radio, you need to know which one your S bus is on. The S bus for this stack is going to be six. That is UART six. So under serial RX, you'll see that it's UART six. So right here, I will throttle that tab to six. And as you can see, I've done that. So if you are unsure which one that you need, you can um, look it up in the manual or you can just read the board and look for the numbers right on there like T1 and R1. And then you'll head down here. You'll hit save and reboot. And then the final step is to head over to your receivers tab. Once you're in the receivers tab, you'll head over to the receiver part. It says receiver mode. You'll need to select serial via UART. That's what I have. This was set on Crossfire because I was using an ELRS, but I am now going to use the DJI radio. So I would change this to SBUS. Once I've done that, I'll hit save and reboot. So the last and final step would be to power on this quadcopter again. Boom, and then I would hold down the power button of my radio, and I would press the bind button on this O4 air unit, and that would bind my DJI radio to my O4 air unit if you are going to use the DJI radio. If you're gonna use your ELRS, you will again bind and bound and set up that way. The last and final thing, if you wanted to, is to head over to your OSD and set up your OSD. So that means you can put things on your board like your voltage, your battery, your angle, battery efficiency, crosshairs, craft name, core temps, the list goes on and on and on. All right, so now you know how to set up your new DJI O4 air unit. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. If you have ELRS or Crossfire, I have links down in the video description on how to set those up. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did, and I will see you on the next one.